In other news, he had become one of the trusted allies of President Mwai Kibaki, cementing a friendship nurtured for a long time. This week on the cabinet, we focus on Jenga Karume, who served as the Minister for Special Programs and at some point, Defence. Let's take a look. Born in 1929 in Elementaita in the Rift Valley, where his family had settled after immigrating from Kiambu, the young Karome dropped out of school early and was lucky to join Jin School Kabete, later Kenya Institute of Administration, now the Kenya School of Government, where he was awarded a certificate in business studies. As such, he entered the business arena at an early stage selling charcoal, timber, hides and skins before venturing into liquor sales. While it was in this beer business that Karuma would make a mark as an entrepreneur having started to operate bars during the colonial period, it was his leadership of the quasi political Gikuyu Embumeru Association Gema that would catapult him into the inner circle of the president Jomo Kenyatta era politics. Gemma had been formed in 1971 initially as a welfare organization. Karume would later become the face of the organization. He was elected chairman with Keheka Kimani as the organizing secretary in 1973. While Karume had not gone for elective politics, his position as Gemma chairman gave him immense power. That is the reason why he became a central figure during the 1977 Change the Constitution movement. Karome joined politics in 1974 as a nominated member of parliament and in the three subsequent elections held in 1979, 1983 and 1988, Karome vied for and won the Kiamba constituency seat. In July 1980, at a leaders' conference at the Kenya Institute of Administration, the government decided to abolish all tribal unions in the country in the interest of peace, love and unity. Gemma was proscribed leaving Karome with no regional political platform. Karome was reluctant to join the leading opposition force forum for the restoration of democracy forward. Instead, he formed the Democratic Party with Mwai Kibaki and John Keane on 31st December 1991. In 1992, Karume lost his Kiambasi to a newcomer, Kamau Isharia of Fordasili. He decided to concentrate on his business enterprises. After losing two elections on a DP ticket in 1992 and 1997, Karume decided to abandon the party. For the 2002 election, he won the seat again, but now on a Kano ticket, supporting its presidential candidate, Uhuru Kenyatta. In 2004, President Kibaki appointed Karume Minister for Special Programs. At the time, Kenya was facing severe drought and Karume's task was to work with humanitarian agencies and liars with other government departments to get food and water to the affected communities. A few months later, he was transferred to the Ministry of Defense. During his tenure, Karume renegotiated the training of British troops in Kenya. At the 2007 elections, he represented the PNU coalition led by President Kibaki, but lost the seat to Stanley Munga Gedungori of Kano. In 2009, he released an autobiography titled Beyond Expectations, From Charcoal to Gold. In February 2012, Karome died at an Nairobi hospital.